Hey, Mr. Stewart here, here to help with some division strategies that we've been working on uh, the past uh, week. Um, I'm going to show three different strategies. Those strategies are the standard algorithm, as well as the sharing model, and the standard model with place value help. Um, and that's these three strategies have been um, used by our students, and um, they've worked out fairly well. Um, so let's start with the standard algorithm. I'm going to pull, or we're going to get going on our problem of the day, 434 divided by 3. We're going to bring the uh, division house into play, where we have the division house, the divisor out here, the dividend inside, and I will have our dashes up top, showing that I need to at least ask the questions for um, these three numbers. Uh, the steps for division and long division are going to be divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, redo. Um, some people put a check in there. Uh, this is what I say is, does Mr. Stewart bring roses? The answer is yes. Let's divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, redo, or remainder. Okay, so does three go into four? Yes, it does. It goes in one time, meaning I can count to three once in, if I have four fingers. One times three is three. Subtract, I get one. And I will bring down the three here in the tens place. Three goes into 13. How many times? It goes in four times. Four times three is 12. When I subtract these, I get one once again. I will bring down the four. How many times does three go into 14? Um, that goes in four once again. Four times three is 12. Subtract, and I am left with two. This is where I have my R remainder, and I will bring that up. So my answer is 144 remainder two. That's going to be the consistent answer to all of these models. Right here is the standard algorithm once again. We've done that way. Now we'll be going on to the sharing model where we have the same problem. It is 434 divided by three. One thing that's interesting about this model is we're not going to have a house necessarily, is we will have um, a box that will house all of our numbers. So we're going to put a box here. Um, let me actually make some room on the side. And what we'll have is we need to make, we're dividing this into three different groups. So inside this box, we'll divide it into three. And we're going to first start out with 434. And I need to take some parts out of that. I'm going to start looking at my four first. And I can take a 100 uh, and give 100 to each of my groups. Um, and when I do that, that's 300 taken out of 434, and then I'm left with 134, okay? And this is sort of where it gets tricky because students who don't necessarily have all of their math facts, this is a good strategy because you can just chip away at this with other numbers here um, and can go as long as you want. I've seen people do tens and tens and tens, uh, counting all the way down until they get to the right answer, and then they add up what's in each of these boxes, well, each of the boxes should have the same amount, hence this is the sharing model. Um, sharing. Um, so what we need to do now is we need to think of, well, 134, what can I take out of each? So I'm going to take, um, hmm, let's just say, I'll start with 20. 20 each will be a good place to start because I don't know what I can do, but I know I can take 20 from each because 20, 20, and 20 is going to be 60. When I subtract, when I take that out of our total that we had remaining, we're going to be left with 74. Okay, I know I can take another 20 because I just took 20, 20, 20, and that was another 60. Okay, and I'm left with 14. So now that I'm left with 14, I know that I can take out 4 from each. And 4 from each would be 12. When I subtract that, I'm left with 2. So once I add up these boxes, and I look up the boxes, and I see 100 plus 20 plus 20 plus 4, that's 144. And here's 144, and here's 144. And what I have remained, remaining is 2. So my answer here that I get is 144 remainder 2. So now I want to look back at, we had our sharing model right there. We got the same answer. Once again, it's 144 remainder 2. Now I'd like to do the standard with place value, which I think will be helpful to see it in place because this is really what we're doing when we're doing uh, the standard model. It's just um, the bring down uh, step 
of um, the bring down step is going to be changed slightly. You'll see what I mean. But it looks like the standard algorithm, 434 divided by 3, will bring those dashes up. Um, once again, I'm going to do this the same way, but 3 goes into 400 um, one time, right? And I know I'm going to say 100 because it's a 1 in the hundreds place times 3 is 300. Okay, when I subtract this, I'm left with 134. Okay, if you look at our previous model, you'll see this looks very familiar. Okay, I took 300 and I got 134. Okay, so now I am here, I have 134. Basically, I would just be bringing this down anyway because I would just do this step. I'd bring this down and it's just like having zeros there, but it's reinforcing that this one means not just one, it's 100 because it's in the 100s place. So it just reinforces that. So now I look at this and I can say, okay, well, 3 goes into 134, I would say 4 times, because 4 tens times 3 is going to be 120. And once again, I would just have the 1 and 2 would be 12, and then those would be nothing there. And I would eventually bring down a 4, and if we see that, the 4 is going to be there anyway. Okay, So the bring down is where it's really affected, but I'm reinforcing that place value. So three, oh sorry, we're right here. It's uh, three minus one is, or three minus two is one. We're left with 14. And once again, our answer will be 144 remainder two, just like all the other problems. So as you can see, various ways to find the same answer that your students have been working on in class the past week. Um, standard algorithm sharing model as well as the standard algorithm with the place value. Um, so this might not have been the way that you learned it in school, but these are the ways we are teaching it. And hopefully this video helped you sort of bridge the gap between what you know about long division and the standard algorithm and what that means for the sharing model and place value. Up the problem for the day is going to be 434 divided by 3. Standard algorithm has the uh, little house that we call, or what we call the house structure. Um, I put dashes above to make sure we have place values for each. And then 3 goes into 4 one time and 1 times 3 is 3, and we subtract, we get 1, and then we bring down, and this is the structure, so it's, uh, does Mr. Stewart bring roses, or uh, does McDonald's serve cheeseburgers raw? Um, so these are the different models, so divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, redo, divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down, redo, or remainder, um, that's what those R stand for. Uh, this is Mr. Stewart's method, this is Ms. Weibel's method. Um, one just involves a check in the middle. Um, I'm not going to be showing the check necessarily, but it is just making sure that um, if this number here is less than the number here, or sorry, greater than the number here, um, 